Hello world, it's time to level up your things board proficiency. Today we have a tutorial on firmware over the air update for ESP32 microcontroller using things board. From this video you'll learn about configuring ESP32 IDF toolchain for Windows, configuring ESP32 OTA update sample from things board repository. Our new firmware update widget. This widget will push notifications to your ESP32 device when a new firmware version is available. Our new firmware update check rule chain. This rule chain will detect if device firmware is out of sync. We'll supply you with the necessary resources and code samples to completely replicate these examples on your own ThingsBoard instance or in the cloud. This video is basically a step-by-step -step guide to flash your device and update its firmware from ThingsBoard. The firmware over the air update leverages ThingsBoard Entity Attributes feature and is available for both community and professional editions of the platform. First of all, a special toolchain is necessary for configuration this sort of devices. Simply download a zip file with toolchain package and unzip it to your disk C. You'll find a directory MC32 with pre-installed libraries, so our working terminal recognizes all commands and understand Git. Git is strongly recommended for ESP32 application development because the documentation from manufacturer is stored on GitHub and standard installation through clone or download button is not suitable for ESP IDF. Launch MinGW application. You are now in MC's directory. Go to ESP by cd backspace tilde slash ESP. Then launch git clone command for ESP IDF repository. Pay attention on minus minus recursive attribute. That literally means that all modules and submodules from ESP IDF are being copied to your local disk. The link to repository is in the description. Next step is IDF path setup. What's that and why for? Without this step, you should permanently say to all your commands the path to libraries what is not ok and takes your time, especially if you restart terminal. So, if you use Windows, go to Profile D folder in the MC's directory, use any editor to create export IDF path script file sh extension. The body of file is export IDF path equal and then copy paste the way to ESP IDF folder on your PC in quotes. Save and restart terminal. Check IDF path by printing v IDF path command. Ok, move on. ESP application development requires Python package specification. In MC32 toolchain there is installed Python application. Review its version to make next step correctly. I've got 2.7, so I input python 2.7 minus m pip install slash requirements txt. If you got other Python version, then input the right one. Now connect microcontroller to your PC. Go to things board. I use cloud, but this works equally both with community and professional editions. Today I want we to configure firmware of device. If you wanna know how, stay tuned. Create a device ESP32 with device type ESP32 OTA, what means that this device receives updates over the air. I hope you've downloaded all JSON files I put in the description. Move to Rule Chains panel. Import special checker updater rule chain. It consists of three nodes that add in current and target firmware attribute to metadata, updating server attribute if needed, and saving sync attribute.
if you're familiar with things board, to make this rule works, go to root rule chain and add recently created chain. Link it with message type switch with link type attributes updated and with chain save attributes with type success. This creates a comparison between received firmware and the last updated. Proceed to widget slab. Import OTA widget. and then go to dashboards group. Create a dashboard by importing ready to use dashboard. It shows all ESP32 OTA devices. Info about firmware and its status displayed, but there are empty columns because from this moment the most exciting part starts. Switch to min GW terminal, clone ESP32 OTA repository to your local drive. You know how. The link to a GitHub is mentioned below this video. Now in your terminal change directory to ESP32 OTA. Launch a command make menu config. Go on configure our controller. Serial flash. Choose a serial port. For Windows it looks like COM. Go to Device Manager to discover which COM port is used in your PC. For Linux and iOS ports have other appearance. Change rate to 921000. Board. Flash size increase to 4. Save. Exit. Next, we configure connection to things board. Use your Wi-Fi authentication. MQTT I change to cloud. Now return to things board and copy access token of your device. Paste that code in a configuration window. Save and exit. The last thing to configure is partition table. Choose factory app. Now all is set. Before the first flashing, it's necessary to erase ESP32 flash memory. Make erase flash command and next launch make flash monitor. A long long log reports you the device is connected. Go to dashboard and look on it. Now let's update our firmware and put the version in OTA widget 1.2. Copy paste the link on latest firmware image, it's available in the description. And in a few seconds your ESP32 SOC will report sync firmware and we can see that in log. Many thanks for watching and making our channel better. Don't miss our new tutorials. Subscribe Thingsboard. And by the way, what do you think about our restyled how-tos?